Hello, yarn tubers. Welcome back to Dana's Wonderlust Crochet with Dana and Dooley. We're, we're sitting in bed. There's his butt. There's Dooley. That's the king of the roads. But. <laughs> okay, so one of the questions uh, from yesterday's video that, um, that really got me excited. Uh, she was asking what, oh, I've got it written down here. First of all, Kathy Jenks. Thank you so much for this. I have had so much fun today, um, researching this stuff. So the first, she asked two questions. And tonight I'm going to just address uh, one of the questions. Double-ended crochet. Okay, well, I thought, you know, when she asked a question, I'm like, does she mean those, you know, crochet hooks that have a hook on each end? And I, if, if that's what you meant, because that's what I came up with, um, now I want to try that because double-ended crochet Okay, so we're talking about Tunisian crochet, which some companies have marketed as crow knit, crochet knit, um, you know, different, different terms. It's Tunisian. Um, but there's an added twist to it where basically like, like I'm doing a, it got me excited and I got out my Tunisian hooks. These are my clover hooks. These are really nice. I'll talk about these in a minute. Um, and I got two cones of cotton yarn here. And each time I get to the end, if you're familiar, I'm not, I'm not going to do a Tunisian simple stitch tutorial. If you're familiar with Tunisian, at the end, you kind of do a chain one. Well, when I do my chain one, I'm picking up the other color because I'm working in two colors right now. The, this this tealy kind of blue and um, the white. So um, I'm brushing up, it's just watching and reading and doing some research today on the double-ended Tunisian um, type of crochet. I'm really excited about it. And I think I will do, I will do a tutorial on it. Thank you, Kathy, because this is fun and I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I broke out my, my Tunisian hooks. So, um, I'm just having a good time, you know, brushing up on my Tunisian simple stitch here and, um, using two colors, you know, nothing too fancy, but, um, I just, I, you know, I'm excited about, you know, getting, um, a double-ended crochet hook. Now, what I can do, let's talk about these. Okay, so this is a clover set of crochet hooks with, there are like three or four different lengths of this um, plastic line, and each end is threaded. So one end can thread onto the end of this hook, to give me whatever length. I mean, I've got one that's pretty long. And then I have these stoppers that thread into this end. See, this comes off because let me show you what it will do. I can make a Tunisian double-ended afghan by doing this. Okay, so let's just say this is an eye hook like this one. It's not. I think it's a K. So I have these cords and you get really long ones so that you can do an afghan and you thread this on. For some of you this is old news, but I'm I'm late to the party. I didn't know about double ended. I mean, I, you know, I knew about Tunisian and and I'm not real experienced with it. But if this was, you know, one of my longer cords, okay, then I can do the double-ended Tunisian and have a different color on each side of the fabric and make a two-colored, you know, a color on one side and a color on the other side of an afghan, of a blanket. So, and I want to do that. I want to play around with that because 
I don't know if I should say anything. You guys might laugh at me, but you know, Creative Grandma has those Tunisian simple stitch blankets, and then you just cross stitch into it, and you can't see the back side of the of the cross stitch work because it's buried between the two layers of the Tunisian simple stitch. Well, what if I did like a cream color on one side and a burgundy on the other side using double-ended crochet? And then did the cross stitch in the burgundy on the cream side. You know, I, I'm not sure it would work because I think too much of the burgundy would show through. But it's something I want to play around with. You know, and there might be other Tunisian stitches where the two sides wouldn't show up so much, you know, and I could do that. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, it's just a fun thing to think about for the future. I do have a... Um, you know, I do have quite a list of projects going on right now. So, and I probably shouldn't be working on this dish, this Tunisian dishcloth, but it's my yarn and I'll, I'll crow hook if I want to. <laughs> Besides, the Phoenix, I'll get that done in a minute. I'm on like round 5,000 or in 55. Because I can Phoenix too. <laughs> I'll link that video in the uh, description box. I will also link this um, Tunisian set that I'm using. Um, it seems to me it was pretty affordable and that's why I went with the, the Clover set and I like the interchangeable um, you know, style of it. I'm sure there are other companies out there who do these interchangeable kind of things? I mean, here are my cords, and one of them is pretty long. There's one. That's probably three and a half feet long, maybe four feet long. So that would work really well doing double-ended crochet in uh, for an afghan. So. Yeah, so all I have to do is go on. I just found the hooks on Amazon that you can buy them one at a time. So I'll get another I hook. I'll get another J hook because you, you know, typically go with a little bit larger hook than you normally would use um, depending on your yarn. So like tonight, I'm working with four weight cotton that normally I would use an H hook with. So I grabbed the eye hook. You know, what the heck. <sighs> it's not an exact science making a dishcloth. And see, this package has extra of these <clears throat> stoppers in this little pouch. And um, this is just a nice, nice set. It, um, these are bamboo. They slide pretty well. Uh, because I am not a very experienced um, Tunisian crocheter, they're not sliding that great because of my hands. You know, I'm just like a beginner. You know, when you begin crocheting, we tense up our hands. So I'm, I'm practicing, relaxing, and and since I'm in Montana, so here's here's how my day went. It went really well. I woke up at um, the customer, you know, in um, Hamilton, Montana, which was really cool. And then I del my delivery appointment there was for 9 a.m. And I had three deliveries in that in this trailer for these stores. So I hit the store in Hamilton at 9. Um, my 1.30 appointment in Butte, I got there at 1.15. They unloaded me quickly. And I got on the road for Helena. My appointment there was at 4.30. I think I got there about a quarter after three. And they had me unloaded by 4.30 and I slipped over to um, Albertsons. Albertsons is having these like, there are like three or four leg quarters in this package. It's like three and a half, four pounds. And they're seasoned. Okay, so one seasoning was barbecue, the other was rosemary and garlic, and the other one was uh, hot and spicy. So I got two barbecue packages and one package of the uh, rosemary and garlic. That's a lot of meat, right? Well, 
there were stickers on them that said, buy one, get two free. Yeah, so I'm having leg quarters in the barbecue. I actually added some of the Tony's Creole seasoning to it. Thank you to my friend Robert for introducing me to that seasoning. Oh, that's the best chicken I've ever made. So anyway, I've gone, I've gone long enough. I just wanted to, you know, update you guys. Thank you again, Kathy Jenks, for asking me about double-ended crochet. Um, it's got me kind of, uh, the Tunisian bug kind of bit me again today, and I wanted to do that. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk about camel crochet. Um, I found a pretty informative article on it. We're not talking, I mean, yes, there's a camel stitch, but really it's a technique. So um, we're gonna talk about a little bit about, you know, where you can find those original books. There are a couple on Amazon, um, but I'll talk about that tomorrow. So thanks for um, sticking with me while I'm working on this. See if I can get this to, isn't that great? I'm loving this. Okay, I love you guys. Bye. You bunnies better run because that puppy's coming out here soon.